Now that our job manager database has been backed up, we are ready to move forward to uninstall or remove the job manager from a computer. There are, the primary way to do this would be to go to Windows Explorer. So I'm pushing Windows logo key and E on the keyboard to open up Explorer. And that opens up the Windows Explorer window. Another way, more common way maybe, would be to go to your taskbar and just use the File Explorer folder at the bottom. So once that opens that folder, let's maximize that here. And we're going to go up to uh, up a level. So we go to our control panel. There are several ways in Windows to do the same thing. And I don't see control panel here in the list. So I'm just going to go to the top and type in control panel. So there is our control panel. Next, I'm going to go to programs and uninstall a program. At this point, we'll see all of the installed programs on the computer. And there's a couple of programs that attach itself to the Epilog Software Suite. One of those, of course, is this Epilog Software Suite. The other is this GoScript package. We're going to remove both of those. So I'm going to go to the Epilog Software Suite, select it, highlight it, and choose Uninstall. And that might take a minute. And we want to be sure we confirm the warning. It's about ready to begin removing the software from the computer. So it's going to totally delete that folder and its contents. So uninstall. It's going to ask us if we want it to do that. We'll give it permission. Say yes. The good news here is that although we're moving the software suite from the computer. We've already taken the time to back up the database and hopefully you've done that as well. And that this process does not remove the database uh, that you backed up. All right, completing that, so we'll say finish. And I like to be sure that it does remove those from here. Now we still have one more, the ghost script. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to uninstall that as well. And it's already been un uninstalled, so you see Windows didn't quite get refreshed, so now that's refreshed and it's removed. Now, there is a particular folder some of your computers might need to be looked into to be sure you can move forward to the installation of the job manager. And that is we're going to go on the directory and type percent app data percent. By typing percent app data percent, this particular folder has a location, has a folder in it called Epilog Laser. We're going to double click on that. And we see that those database files are left over from the software that we just removed. So, did Windows actually remove everything? Doesn't look like it. Because if we try and install a new software suite on top of this, Epilog installation is going to gripe at us and it still has something in this folder and it doesn't like it. It wants that to be empty. So we've already taken the time and hopefully you have too. If you didn't watch the previous video on backing up the database, do that. But since I've already done that, now we can go ahead and choose to remove these. So I'm going to say delete. Now they're gone. If I had not deleted those two out of this folder, and I tried to reinstall the software on top of it, it would grab at us saying, can't move any further, you've got to delete these out of here. So we've gone into our percent app data percent folder, epilogue laser, and removed the two database files. Now we're ready to proceed with reinstalling the software suite.